Hello and welcome to our video that will show you how to use the Infinity Album Designer to make your album. Before we start, we're going to explain the different size templates that we offer. If you click the square, you'll be brought to the uh, Windows directory that will show you where the templates are. The program is installed in the C drive at DYOWA and templates. And you'll see we have horizontal, square, and then vertical templates. When the program opens, it starts with the square templates. But you can change that if you like and use any size template that you wish to use. When you start an album, you have to start with a single page. So you select a page, and the single page is different than a panorama. As you notice, there are panorama pages listed. Panoramas are the double-sized pages that go from one side of the album to the other as one big picture. To start, you have to select a single image. And you can select any image, of course. Uh, it's usually the invitation or something in the starting point of the wedding. And when you do this the first time, you have to give your order a name. We'd like you to name your order with your name, because when you contact us for uh, uh, details about your order when it's in progress. It's easier for us to find it if you give it a name. Okay, sometimes people just put album one or my album, but give it an actual name because this is an order that may eventually come to our lab. So there's our first page. Now if you decided that you wanted the panorama to be your opening, and you might want to do something like this and have a, a double page spread, and then add something to the background. That's what a panorama is for. You add things to the background. That's the main reason to use a panorama, so you can spread a picture across both pages. Okay. In that case, if you wanted the panorama to open your album, then you would just make this a blank. Okay. The last template is a blank. It's not really a blank, but it allows you to put a full-size image. But if you don't put any image in it, it would be a blank, okay? So you could use this, and that could have been your first page. And we can even do that. And you're getting to see some of the features in the program that I'm going to explain. You can move things around, okay? So this could have been your first page, or these two could be your first page, okay? So now we showed you how easy it was to put pictures in, drag them in, drag them over, and you have a page. What we want to show you now is how you can add different effects to the pages. You can add images. If you don't like an image, just replace it. Okay, and add different image. If you don't put images in the openings, watch. And you're going to see another thing happen. You can't add a panorama when you have a single picture because the panorama needs to go across. If you happen to do that, it's pretty easy to fix. Your panorama will, is, it's, it is actually correct. You'll get the panorama. You just can't view it here. So what you might do then is just proceed, because you know you like the picture that you added, so there's no reason to take it out. You just proceed along and add something else. Add another single. Add a page with, with other images on it. Maybe something like this. The program works much faster than you see it happening in the video. The, the video capture program uses a lot of resources in the computer, and it slows our program down a bit. So when we add this picture, everything always gets added to the bottom. We're just going to move it up. And now our panorama is correct. If you recall, this panorama had nodes here and here, and nodes here and here. If you don't fill in the nodes, we call the areas nodes. If you don't fill in the nodes, they don't appear. So the templates are very versatile because you may just want to use 
something like this. And when the one image fills in, you could add a color here. You can leave it blank, it'll be white. You can add um, a color to the background and then that won't appear. Now one of the other things you can do is, is fill the node with a color. I wouldn't actually do an entire panel like this, but you could fill the, the node with a color. Okay, and what will happen is that color will appear. You don't see it here, but that color will appear. There it is. It has to render and then you see it. If you don't like something, you just bring it back. Okay, and you can do whatever you like with it. If you like, you can add another picture. And then you can bring it back here. And then you can delete this. Okay, you can delete this picture. So we've shown you how to make, how to start your album, how to make a panorama, how to add a picture to the background. We showed you how to insert pictures. We showed you how to use a panorama. Um, and any picture actually, and, had, and what would happen if you added a panorama to a to an odd uh, quantity of images already placed in the in the column, and we showed you what happens if you don't fill in the nodes, and we showed you how you can replace pictures. Now I want to show you how to crop pictures. Cropping means you know changing the size of the the image because you might want to fill up the area or change the the size of the actual image. So your, your picture is in the box and you left click so that you have the little white lines running around. And you use the top six left keys on the keyboard. The Q key, the W, the E, the A, the S, and the D. The E key zooms out and the Q key goes back and the W goes up, S goes down, a is left, D is right. Think of it this way. The E zooms out and the Q goes back. And the other four keys are exactly like your arrow keys. Exactly. We just used the top six left keys of the keyboard. So that's how you crop your picture. Okay.